Welcome to the Texas Instruments Linux Debug Webinar. I am Kisu Lee, a co-composer studio applications engineer. Today, I will be talking about the types of Linux debug and what role co-composer studio can play for your Linux debugging needs. For those of you who are new to TI's embedded software and tools ecosystem, it is an area that TI has invested heavily in over the years. The ecosystem is comprised of runtime software including real-time operating systems like TI RTOS, Embedded Linux, and a multitude of software packages. There are development tools including the Code Composer Studio Integrated Development Environment, JTAG emulators, and development boards such as launch pads and evaluation modules. On top of this, there is a rich community providing expertise, turnkey solutions, product support, and training. There are two types of Linux debug, Linux application debug and Linux kernel debug. Linux application debug refers to debug visibility for one or more Linux processes while the Linux kernel remains running. Because of this, it is also referred to as run mode debug. Anyone developing a Linux application for a target running embedded Linux would be most interested in this. Linux kernel debug refers to debug visibility for the entire system. This includes the Linux kernel itself. Both the kernel and all processes are halted completely. Hence, this debug mode is also referred to as stop mode debug. People developing device drivers for the Linux kernel and other related development requiring low-level target access would be most interested in this. Linux application debug is the most common scenario for the two types of Linux debug environments mentioned. It is the debug environment needed for Linux application developers. The GNU debugger, or GDB, is a common tool that is used for Linux application debugging. It is comprised of two components, GDB server, a monitor that runs on the target system, and GDB, the host side debugger that interfaces to the GDB server running on the target. These two components work together to provide an environment to debug the Linux application running on the target. Let's take a look at a simplified graphical representation of the Linux application debug environment. On the host side, GDB is running, sometimes from an IDE like Eclipse. A communication transport, such as Serial, is used to control the application environment. On the target side, the application is running on the target Linux kernel and GDB server controls the application execution. Now let's take a look at another simplified graphical representation of the Linux application debug environment. This one showing the typical connections of the environment. We have a host machine running GDB on the left from an IDE, and a target running a Linux application on the right. A serial communication between the host and target is used to issue commands to the running application, and an Ethernet connection between the host and the target is used for communication between GDB and GDB server. GDB can be run from the command line. It can also be run from an IDE such as Eclipse, which has native support for GDB. Eclipse is designed for application development using the GNU toolchain, so it is an excellent environment for source level application debugging. Eclipse is also easily extensible through many third party plugins that can greatly enhance the environment for Linux debugging. Specific plugins for Android development or useful productivity tools like a terminal application or file system browser for the remote target can be easily added to the Eclipse environment. Linux kernel debug is for those needing low level target debug visibility. It is the environment needed by people developing drivers and such. 
GDB does not have the capability to effectively provide this low level visibility. This is where a JTAG emulator is needed. Access to the target processor peripherals, registers, and memory is available through a JTAG emulator. The standard Eclipse IDE does not have support for JTAG debugging since support for this is heavily dependent on both the emulation technology and the target device being used. Let's take a look at a simplified graphical representation of the Linux kernel debug environment. On the host side, an IDE that supports JTAG debug is running. A communication transport may or may not be needed. On the target side, the Linux kernel is running in addition to any applications. Let's take a look at another simplified graphical representation of the Linux kernel debug environment. This one showing the typical connections of the environment. We have a host machine running a JTAG debug session on the left and a target running Linux on the right. A JTAG emulator is connected to the target to provide JTAG communication between the host and the target and provide target debug visibility. An optional serial connection between the host and the target is also shown. Other benefits of the low-level system visibility that is provided with a JTAG debug session includes the ability to have debug access to various other coprocessor, coprocessors in the system and the ability to debug boot and initialization code before the Linux kernel is actually running on the target. Code Composer Studio, or CCS for short, supports both types of Linux debug scenarios discussed. This makes it an excellent option for all your Linux debug needs. Because the CCS IDE is based off of Eclipse, it inherits the native Eclipse support for GDB. It can also leverage all the third-party plugins to Eclipse that can help with Linux application debugging. CCS also has excellent JTAG debug support. It supports a wide variety of JTAG emulators which can be used with all TI devices. Because CCS supports both types of Linux debug scenarios, it is possible to have both debug types active at the same time. This, this means you can debug the kernel in conjunction with the application. You can also have simultaneous debug visibility to all the debuggable cores in the system. This is useful to debug code running on the coprocessors or DSPs in the system. CCS's ability to leverage all the third-party Eclipse plugins allows it to be a complete solution for all your debug needs. And finally, a Linux version of CCS itself allows you to maintain a complete Linux environment all the way to the host machine. Finally, let's take a look at a simplified graphical representation of the typical connections for a complete Linux debug environment that combines both the Linux application and Linux kernel debug environments. Linux application debug is supported using GDB through an Ethernet connection. Linux kernel debug is supported through a JTAG connection through a JTAG emulator. And a serial connection can be used by both, especially for a Linux application debug session. For more information on Linux debug with CCS, please refer to the Linux Debug Media Wiki article and the Linux Debug Training Material. Links to all of these are shown in this slide.